RAM Concept 2023 has implemented the Amendment 2 changes to Australian Concrete Code AS3600-2018 as a new design code selection. You'll be able to select this new design code during the process of creating a new RAM Concept file. You can now select AS3600-2018 version with Amendment 1 and 2. Prior to this release, the program had AS3600 with versions 2001, 2009, and 2018 Amendment 1, which are still available for you to select. The latest version of the code with Amendment 1 and 2 can be utilized for both elevated floors as well as mat foundations. You can also open the same model simultaneously in separate RAM concept sessions and run the model with different selection of design code versions. In this way, you can compare the designs side by side. For an existing model, you can change the design code from the criteria menu. For this model, I will select AS3600-2018 with only Amendment 1 in one of the sessions. And for the next program session, I will select AS3600-2018 with Amendment 1 and 2. With this, I will go to my Latitude Design Spans plan in both sessions. And now if I select the design span segments and go into their properties, I will be able to select an additional option to include vertical pre-stress components in strength design when I'm working with the code version having amendment 1 and 2. When considered by selecting this option, the vertical component of pre-stress, PV, is factored by 0.9 if it acts to reduce the design shear and it is factored by 1.15 if it increases the design shear as per clause 8.2.1.3 or reduces the design shear but changes its direction. These forces get summed with the design force envelopes during the shear envelope conversion. For more details on how these two code versions consider PV in design calculations, please refer to section 67.6.4 of the RAM concept manual. With both the AS3600-2018 code versions in RAM Concept, you can also utilize the new strut angle determination options from the column or middle strip properties. In previous versions, an initial flexural and axial design was performed to determine the longitudinal reinforcement strain, which was then used to calculate the strut angle. The option to automatically calculate uses the same method as previous versions, and other new options regarding this were added in RAM Concept version 8 update 4 in 2022. Please refer to the section 67.6.10 of the help manual for more details on this. Now I will repeat the process for including vertical component of pre-stress in strand design for the design spans in my longitude design spans plan as well. This option to include pre-stress component is also available within design sections. So if you are working with single cross sections instead of a design span, you can also find the option there. With this, I will now perform the calculation across both sessions. After the calculation is done, I will go to my design status plan and audit one of the cross sections across both sessions. Within the checks performed across strength design, I can see that vertical component of pre-stress is being considered for the session that was running with the 2018 code version with Amendment 1 and 2, since I had selected the option to do so. The same cannot be found in this report for the session that was running with Amendment 1. There are also some other changes implemented for both the 2018 code versions, like how the user transfer share enforcement are considered to contribute to the design share strength, as well as the consideration of PT system duct width in effective share width calculation. For more details on these changes, please refer to the release notes for RAM concept version 2023. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels.
Thank you, and see you next time.